everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I go by Rachel Ray on the internet and today's video is the day where we talk about cross stitching and a lot of knitting. Well, a lot. Anyway, <laughs> welcome. It's Saturday, August the 29th. Yes, I got it right. And today I have a finish. I have a new start and a finish, which is unusual for me. And uh, before I get talking too much. I just want to apologize for last weekend's video. There was a problem with the audio and I sincerely apologize. My microphone was turned the wrong way and so you couldn't really hear very well. It just sounded like an echo. So I really apologize for that. I will make sure that I am more careful in the future. Technology is something that I have a love-hate relationship with so thank you for bearing with me. Today I'm having a fresh cup of hot coffee that's probably filled way too high in my woolly, wacky woolies cup from Irish tourism shops. Cheers. Oh, that's too hot still. Okay. Um, a few things to just point out. <laughs> I went ahead and I framed my Naga painting print. That I got and uh, I've put that there instead of the normal cherry blossom uh, just because of the issue of copyright and stuff like that uh, and I don't want to upset anybody and I don't want to promote that on my channel so um, even though I love the painting and it was a lot of hard work and it was a it was a nightmare to do um, it will be hung in my home but not on camera any longer so we're all trying to be our best, right? Let me show you what I started. So if you don't know her, I don't know what rock you're living under, but Michelle Bendy Stitchy here on YouTube, she has a Patreon and she put up a request slash challenge for us to stitch a very small Halloween ornament. And she said that Rosie, her daughter, is going to be picking one of those finished pieces by September 1st. I think you had to finish it by September the 1st. So you still have a few days if you're in our Patreon. Uh, it's a very quick stitch and Rosie's going to choose one and that one is going to be the model for the cover photo for the, you know, PDF that's going to be printed and or put on her shop and everything. And I got so excited because I've been looking for an excuse to use this floss that I got from Mrs. Sadis. I have to be careful because there is a long thread and I don't want it to go in my coffee. This is Oxide. Sorry, you're kind of like looking at my face. L look at the thread, not my face. Um, this is Oxide by Mrs. Sadis. And do I have a piece of white paper? I kind of do. Yeah. Okay. Technical difficulty. Look at the label. <laughs> Look at this floss. It is just so, 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 so cool and Halloween-y. It's got orange and yellow, green, all the things. Can you see? Ooh, that's good. And see how it has splatterings of like blue and purple as well. It's just really, really cool to look at. And this was given to me as a gift inside of one of my Mrs. Sadis, um, orders because she does put in a free mini skein uh, or mini mini skein yeah mini skein of silk so this is oxide and I was staring at it and I was actually about to start her patreon exclusive chart in the $20 tier you get a an exclusive bendy stitchy design every month from her and so like I just I wanted so badly to use this floss and I was just about to start her latest, which is this really cool, um, it's like a, an urn with snakes coming out of it. It's called a CC embroidery. It's like an old style of embroidery. And anyway, on the chart, she says, it's better that you don't use variegated floss. And I was just so gutted because I was like, oh, I really want an excuse to use this floss. So what happened? Like I had already pulled this. I had already pulled some fabric. And then she put out this post and I was like, oh God, I gotta do it. Okay, I've rambled it on enough. I can tell that this is gonna be very chatty. Um, so here is my Halloween ornament by Bendy Stitchy. 
Isn't that just the cutest? Let me get it close so you can see. I used Oxide by Mrs. Seda Silk and Krynik, the gold metallic. I think it's 202 OHL or something like that. I have the details on my Instagram actually. And I stitched this on Forest Canopy by Crafty Kitten on a 25 count, two over two. For this particular piece, I went ahead and I, I'll just move to the side so I can point. I started at the bottom, actually I started here, I went around and it, I wanted to make sure there wasn't too much puddling in the house, like pooling of color. Uh, and then I used separate strands for the tops of the house. And then I just used another, I think it took another two separate lengths for me to get all of the cloud. So you can see how it kind of pools when you use it. And it's just gorgeous pooling. I wanted the pooling in the smoke, but not in the house. So I think I achieved that okay. And I got inspired by the orange to do the gold ghost because originally I was just going to do like, I don't know, be boring and do white or something. Um, but I didn't think it would show up on the fabric and I just wanted it to be blingy. Unfortunately, this lighting kind of gets rid of all the modeling on the fabric itself. So I apologize for that. But Forest Canopy 25 count, it's really beautiful. And I wanted it to be big. That's why I did the two over two. Just, just, a, there we go. It's got a lot of color. Can you see the browns in the fabric? So it kind of looks old and crusty and I really like that. So we'll see if Rosie picks mine. Probably not because it's not pink. <laughs> Rosie's favorite color is pink. But um, the sparkle and the shine of the ghosts really was fun. Krynik. Some people call it the devil's floss, um, but actually it's not so bad. You just need to find a rhythm and you need to make sure, like I hold my finger underneath the stitching so that I can feel that I've pulled the strands all the way through. Otherwise, it's hard to tell if that's actually happened. But anyway, that is my start, new start and finish. <laughs> I finished this in one sitting. Um, but I really wanted something small, an accomplishment just for me. If I get chosen, then I will send this off to Michelle. She is going to have it fully finished, uh, photographed. And then she said she would send it back to me, but I said, I would rather you just keep it, um, to save the carbon miles and I'll just stitch it again. I'll buy another piece of this fabric and I will stitch it again. Um, but it's just beautiful. Love it. If I don't win, I'll, I'll finally finish it and then, you know, make something cool out of it. So that is that. Next up, I will show you my uh, Midnight Way by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This is a stitch along for, oh, the bookmark is getting in the way. This is a stitch along for Halloween. And uh, the second part is about to drop on the 31st of August. So I still only have a few more days to finish this first pattern. This is on 28 count. Sorry, I got to turn it a little bit so you can see the color. 28 count Belfast, I think, isn't it? I don't remember the names. The, the names of the places indicate the count, so you don't have to say the count, but I always get confused. Probably because, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, there are some things I can remember, no problem, and then there's other things, and I'm like, what am I saying? So, if this will focus. Look at my fingers. There we go. Oh, this needle minder will be available in my shop very soon, by the way. Um, so I just went ahead and I did the lamp post, which is in a toile. Uh, and I did the outline of the shop, which is in, I can't remember what color that is, 877, eight, eight something. 
Um, anyway, it's starting to really take take shape. The pumpkin and the fence, it's just so beautiful. I did a little bit, I think I did the fence and the little pumpkin earlier in the week with the purple down there and then the lamp post and the outline of the house I did yesterday. So I'm actually a little far behind. I want to stay on top of this sal so bad. Um, Heike is finished and I was like, mm, you're going so fast. I don't know why I have trouble keeping up sometimes. Anyway, and that's on Whimsy by Picture This Plus using the called for, I got the whole kit, but using called for DMC and the Etoile that came in my kit because I ordered from the homemaker -y. Super cool, love it. I'm really getting in the Halloween-y mood. <laughs> really, really bad. Um, perfect. And I'm like looking at all the things. Can you tell? I have, um, this is my, uh, Luna is my Patronus. What does it say? My Patronus is Luna and it's a picture of, well, you're gonna, you're gonna see it now. It's a picture of me and my dog and it has our names. You can't tell because the sun just came out. Sorry. Crows and bats and apples and things. I, uh, I just put it there so you can see a little Halloween decor. James. Oh, okay. Little life update while I uh, help him really quick. Um, my husband and I went on a date last night and we... I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit this video, but you're definitely going to see it on Wednesday. Um, we went out and, <laughs> aww, uh, we made sculptures. Let me see if I can actually show you using the camera because we, I've talked about this in my Patreon live stream. I do, I do have a Patreon account. It's where if you feel like supporting your favorite creators, you can head on over there. It's got a lot of back. Excuse me, sorry. Um, if you wanna help support your favorite creators, uh, they give you perks for pledging a little bit of money every month towards them. I think of it as like a cup of coffee every month or, you know, brunch or dinner, depending on what kind of you know amount you have to give but there's no pressure at all but as a reward for being a patron of mine at the end of every month i do a live stream just for them so that i can talk to them anyway i told them about this and so <laughs> uh my husband and i went to a sculpture making party and we did a kind of Venus of Villendorf style fertility goddess. And it was just so fun. So um, we did wear masks and everything. So, you know, be safe out there. Be safe out there. This is James. I gotta save it so I can send it to him. This is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you can't see because of my curtains. Oh no. Sorry, you can't see because of my curtains. Okay, I'll try to, what time is it? 13 minutes? Okay, I'll put a picture up here. That's his, and this one is mine. Save. It was so fun to do, um, so very fun to do. And I think that, can I, can I send it now? Yeah, send, send. Um, it was so fun to do and, you know, he was the only guy there and I think, I personally think that his was the best. She looks like a little bit of a gnome or something, but that's okay. You know, everyone is unique. Slurpy slurp. Okay. Let's get back into the cross stitching. All right. So next up is my beautiful long dog sampler, the Pilgrim. This was a gift from Michael, a viewer, and I love this chart so much. I am, whoop, there goes my book. I am up here and I am just about, just in this little house that's above the deer. I am working along the top first and getting all those houses done. So it looks like there's like, 
there's a next to the owl there's a water mill and then there's a massive cathedral um and then there's another cathedral looking thing i'm not sure if those are supposed to be representative of a certain place like um the for example the since this is about a pilgrim path maybe those are the start and end points of the camino um could be could not be i'm not really sure but i just noticed that there's a bat in that apple tree <laughs> i look at this chart and like every time i look at it i see something that i never saw before anyway i'm keeping this in my leviosa wingardium leviosa love you more studio co bag or I don't think they call it Studio Co. I think it's just Studio. And I am stitching on Mystic Fabrics Nothing. It's called Nothing. Oh, and the sun is coming out. I'm so sorry. This is this is what happens when I film a floss tube. Ireland is suddenly like, oh, it's not rainy right now. Anyway, okay, so this is a 20. Oh, I wrote it down. I knew I'd forget. This is a half yard of Mystic Fabrics Nothing 32 count linen. And I'm using Mrs. Satis Peacock Silk. So this is what the fabric looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? And this is where I am from afar. I have to. I always fold my fabric with the stitching inward to protect it. Because I heard that that is the thing you should do. Um, this fabric is so luscious. It's just like so soft. Um, I have to stand up to show you to get this to kind of focus. So I am just above the water house the water the mill the water mill the I don't know what you call that thing but is really fun I fixed my mistake I had a mistake here in the arch of the house and so I fixed that and I stitched everything from about right here over under under this little block where the chimney is but everything under there I stitched and it is looking so cool on this fabric. Um, I know that if you look really closely, you're going to see that, you're gonna see the color, the lines and the color um, where I went up and down and stuff like that. But you know what? I think that when it's finished, that's not really gonna matter. I will be stitching all the animals in a different way. I want to use the method that I heard Gary talk about, Gary from the Sunshine Stitchers. He was talking about how with sometimes with variegated floss, you could go, he was talking about a, um, a rabbit, a hare, rabbit, not sure, but he did something where he went around like he did the outline of the animal and then he just swirled his way in I think I'm going to do that for all of the animals because I think that will look really neat with the variegation on this floss and I'm being very very careful with it because I don't want yeah it's it's silk and I bought two massive hanks of it and I don't want to destroy it <laughs> so yeah that is the pilgrim i love that project so much it's a it's gonna take a long time but it does work in pattern keeper so that's awesome way easier to keep track of that way uh let me take a sip real quick we're almost done with the cross stitching whips next up i have my sushi bag from Love You More Studio Co. I love this. I love these bags. They're super soft and squishy. But I got the small one. There was no large one. And I would rather have the large ones. 
I just made some purchases that are epic. I can't wait for you to see. Oh my gosh, the lard room. I even changed out the curtains in this room to make it better, but anyway. Next up is Sisterhood. <laughs> Not that you can see it. Holy cow. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's try that again. Mm, you can kind of see it. Sisterhood by Stitch Sisterhood on Etsy. This is my representation matters cell slash uh, diversity and inclusion cell. And I'm so happy. I got, sorry about the wrinkle. Hang on, let me work that out a little bit. This is coming along really well. I got the outline of the left hand done. I got the nails done for the most part. And then I'm going to work on filling in the hands. This is Midnight Roses by Crafty Kitten. This is a 16 count Ada. I didn't write anything down using the called for DMC. And it is gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? I love this color fabric. Crafty Kitten does some amazing fabrics. And I am subscribed to her Small Cuts monthly bag. So she does four small cuts in every month uh, in this little bag. Sorry. We're back to, to cloudy again. Four small cuts in every monthly bag. And one of the small cuts is the previous or that month's fabric of the month. And I have just recently, I think last month, I asked her to change me over to linen. So I will now have Ada even weave and linen from the Crafty Kitten. Um, and just having that, having all those little smalls is perfect in my collection because I can use them for my ornaments, my small little stitches. This one is only, what is this? 70 by 86 stitches. So it's a, it's relatively small. It's like a, a little tiny mini chart. Anyway, I love stitching on that and I would like to see a finish on that eventually. Someday, one day. And my last whip is in my patchwork paw print bag. Oh, I said it. Um, I love this. Bag. This is a Liberty bag. They are available on her Etsy shop and it's got Luna's fur all over it. Um, I actually went onto her Etsy and I bought three of these. So look out for that. I'm super excited. I just had to, you know. I don't really want to take it out because I did show it in its full last time. Um, I, as you could, you might remember, I finished this row. Here we go. I finished this row last week and now I'm on this row. I'm still really behind, but I got all of these bo boxes, the outlines of the boxes done and I filled in two of those boxes. And they are so pretty, you know? I love all these patterns. She really does a great job. Um, I think her name is Claire. Peppermint Purple Year of Black Work, S-A-L. Um, there are, how many colors were there? I don't know, but she did, I don't have the details here for that, but um, this is what it will look like in the end. My camera hates me. There we go. So those are all the DMCs, right? And this is a free chart. So please go and download it um, and give it a go because it doesn't take very long at all. You'd be surprised. The things that take the longest are those dense boxes where it's like two boxes together but you only have one or two every week. And then the long boxes are fun. So, um, as you can see, there are two long boxes. So if we plan ahead, this one on mine says pause. And last week I asked you, what do you think I should put in this box? Um, and I really, really like the idea of reflect, but there were a lot of other really great um, suggestions. Let me just bring them up actually because I'd like to read them out to you. Comments. And also I had to republish that video twice. 
Um, so let's have a look. Refresh, Amplified, Transform. A lot of people said Reflect. Um, protect. It's an interesting one. Uh, remember, says Dutch Doc. Cautious. Um, empower. Or caution. There's another one with caution. Um, I love all of your suggestions. Thank you so much for leaving me such kind comments. I love reading them. They really brighten my day, especially on my floss tube videos. Wonderful, wonderful comments. Thank you so much. Um, I think that is everything. Let me just double check the other video, the first video that went up. Um, I had to privatize it or unlist it because it just, <laughs> the audio was horrible and it was just a bad day. Strength, perseverance, um, listen. Very nice. So thank you all for those very super kind comments. Um, so yes, the, I, I think I might use the word reflect, um, but I'm not sure yet. I'll decide when I get closer down there. Of course, the sun came out again. So here you can see it says pause and down here, it might say something like reflect. Um, because we've had to do a lot of reflection, obviously, on what what being kind is and, you know, how, how to navigate this crazy, crazy world. Those are all of my cross-stitching whips. Uh, let me talk about some of the things that are happening with haul. So I made a lot of purchases. As I told you, I got three more of these bags. These are not cheap bags. They're made really, really well, but I did get paid and I have been wanting to support small businesses all over the place. And so I went ahead and I got three more. I cannot wait for you to see them. I hope they arrive this week so that I can show you in my next floss tube. Um, and I may or may not have something extra super special next week to share with you. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and so I did that. Also, <laughs> Yesterday, I watched Lindy Stitches. So Stephanie at Lindy Stitches, she is a designer and she's a floss tuber. And she, a lot of people tell me that I enable them, but I am equally as enabled by things. So this light is going to drive me nuts. Please bear with me. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm about to buy a window cling that will hopefully like dim it out a little bit. But anyway, people tell me that I enable them. I am equally as enabled. I didn't even get past her holding up her new Dracula chart. Like she just, she just held it like this. I didn't even see the horizontal version of her new Dracula chart. She just held it like this. And I was like, sold. Went straight down to the description box of her video, clicked on her brand new website link and purchased that PDF faster than anything. I considered buying the floss pack, but with things the way they are, uh, with shipping and everything, I decided to go over to uh, Patchwork Rabbit, which is a UK shop. And I got all the week's dye works. Unfortunately, they didn't sell dinky dyes in that shop. So what I did was I looked at their Valdani um, floss or silk rather. Valdani is really interesting because it comes in a ball like like yarn. It's it's kind of weird or twine or something. It reminds me of twine, but it's silken twine. <laughs> anyway, um, so I looked for a color that I thought I would like the bat to be. And I chose one that is, what is it called? Patrick Popper. It's called Aged 
black, aged black. Um, and it's kind of like black and brown. And that is what I think of when I think of a bat. I'm so excited, <laughs> you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super excited. I love Dracula. I am an English literature major uh, from Virginia Commonwealth University. I went to the Arts and Humanities College. I took four and a half years of university. I majored in English. I did nothing but read, 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 read. And in my final semester, I had 32 books that I had to read, analyze, and write papers about. So I, when I saw that she made that chart, I was just like, I'm done. Just take my money, take my money. The good thing about that chart, this is for, this is the part where, you know, if you're trying to save money, just like la 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 la, don't listen to me. The good thing about this chart, not only is it PDF, you also get not one, but two charts. So you get the vertical version and you get the horizontal version. So they're, they're slightly different and they both have their positives and negatives. I really, well, not negatives, sorry. None of it is negative. I don't even know why I said that. Both of them are amazing. It just depends on, you know, what do you want? What What is your preferred stitchiness? Um, I love the big letters in the horizontal version, but there's something about that vertical version. I think it's the borders and the flowers. Ugh just stick a fork in me. I am done. Like, it's just so beautiful. Right. So I bought the pattern. And you know what else she said? So I bought the pattern. And I waited until later on in the day to buy all the flosses. But I went back to the video then because you got to You got to finish the video, right? She told me about the horizontal version. I was like, wow, you're giving us two patterns for the price of one. And then she said, that it works with Pattern Keeper. <laughs> and she's making all of her big, all of her big designs work for Pattern Keeper. If you don't know what Pattern Keeper is, it's an app for Android, not, sadly not iOS. It's an app for Android. You have to pay for it. I think you get a 30 day trial and then it's like 10 bucks or something. Um, totally worth it if you're doing full coverage cross stitches, if you're doing big patterns, or just if you would prefer not to use a highlighter, because like me, uh, when I use a highlighter, I end up getting highlighter on my project. I'm sloppy, okay? I just, I fully admit it. I know, I know, I know. It's a character flaw. But anyway, so she told us that her patterns, like Emily's house, um, the big ones, uh, except for Mary Mary Needleworker, sad face, um, they all work with Pattern Keeper. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. I am so excited. <laughs> so I downloaded the PDF and now I'm going to use it in Pattern Keeper. I tried to find the picture of this plus murky, but I couldn't. It's just not available anywhere <laughs> uh, except her own shop, but I'm trying to get it over here. So I will find it eventually. I don't have to start it right away but you know me, like, let's see what I get in the big box from Jessie because I have months of fabric of the month from Brandy, Misty, and Fortnite Fabrics, which is owned by Married with Stitches. I have months of it, so I could have plenty of fabric. Maybe one of them will work with the floss for Dracula. Dracula's Confession, I think it's called. So I'm super excited about that. What else? All the things. Until they get here, I might not, I might not know. Oh, I made a big purchase from my friend Jessie's shop at Miss Laid Pages. She's located in the States. She has an Etsy shop and she sells patterns. She sells physical patterns, not PDFs, and she sells dinky dyes. So dinky dyes are a silk and they're very nice. They're very nice to work with they glide really smoothly through any fabric. So highly recommend. She's not asking me to say this at all. She has no idea that I'm about to say this. She has a Dinky Dyes Floss of the Month Club. Now, it's not really a club unless you email her or message her through Etsy. 
but you can purchase one month at a time. Every month she'll bring out a new month. So for example, she is just about to launch September's Dinky Dye of the Month Club floss pack. And if you would like to sign up to get it every single month, you just need to send her a message on Etsy and she will set it up through PayPal so that it invoices you every month and she will be able to send you a pack every month. Otherwise, it's just a one-time thing through Etsy because Etsy doesn't let you do that, um, but she would love to do that for you. In fact, she would love to do anything for you. Just please message her through Etsy. She can kit up the, the patterns. She can, you know, do whatever, give you suggestions for fabric, all that kind of stuff. So please check her out. She also has a lot of cover minders and stuff that I love to use on my projects. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm a little bit biased because she's my friend, but she is trying so hard to be a needle workshop and I would love it if you would go and check her out. Her link is down in the link Haven, which is a Google document that has all the links to everything that I talk about in this video. So please check her out, give her some love. Um, and Dinky Dye's Silk of the Month Floss Club. Love it. Love it. I'm so excited to get mine, y'all. So excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there are other things. I feel like, oh, Al Forest. Um, I heard from 1884 Stitchery that the, you know that Al Forest had these villains on the thrones kits and I have been stalking their website like every day for the last, since before lockdown, okay? Since like, since the beginning of the year. I want the czar. Um, and so I, she, she posted on Instagram that she was gonna restock her shop with Alfora's kits. And of course I commented and I was like, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please tell me that you have the czar. And she said, no, that they're not planning to restock the czar. Now I'm wondering, does it mean that she's not planning to restock the czar or that Al Forrest isn't planning on restocking the czar? I'm pretty sure that she means that Al Forrest is not going to restock the czar. So that's what I, that's what I interpreted it as, interpreted it as. Mm -hmm. And so I went ahead and I purchased the PDF directly from Al Forrest and I paid for the thread pack. However, I didn't think it worked the first time. Like something didn't work. It says your your order was canceled or something. So I did it again and it went through twice. <laughs> like I literally got an order number uh, 38 and 39 and I was like, ah! So I've contacted them and asked them if they could cancel the second one. If I can't for whatever reason cancel, then maybe that'll be part of a giveaway. Um, but it's the pattern and the floss pack times two. So I don't need two. I just need one. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, but like getting the beads and stuff is what I'm going to have trouble with, I think. So I need to remember that in the back of my mind. Okay. I will talk about haul more when I get haul eventually. But I don't have any cross stitchy haul here. I'm just chatting. So let's move away from cross stitching and talk about yarn. And I would encourage you to stay, even if you don't knit, uh, but if you need to go or something like that, I totally understand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one. But if you're going to stay, I have a treat for you. Okay, first of all, oh, I totally forgot to tell you about this. Look at this. I got my Velisano shirt. Did I show you this shirt? My Velisano shirt came in. Thank you to everybody who donated. And also, I don't remember ordering this, but I must have. I got a package. That's what all the movement is, my apologies. It came with a little piece of paper. It's got like a sticker why I Velisano and then you're supposed to write in the circle. It's got, I think this is like a, um, a cycling pack if you were cycling because it's got like the tag and everything. 
This one says how many years of participation, name an activity, and I think you're supposed to put that on something and it's blowing out again. Hello, sun. Then I got this cool bracelet. It says Vela Sano uh, and then 100% for the cure. Very cool. Put that on. And then I got another shirt with all the sponsors on the back. I need to change that, please. Okay. And then they also sent me oop, a, an actual cycling shirt. So it has Velisano and then 100% for the cure. And on this side, it says, thank you, healthcare heroes. And then on the back, it's got the um, <laughs> sponsors and pockets in the back. I don't cycle. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a well-known fact. Obviously, I do not cycle. But that is cool. That is really cool. And if I ever have a cycling friend who needs a cycling shirt, then I will give it to them. Okay. Now. Let's talk about the whip, my whip at the moment. I've put all of the whips aside and I am working on the Empower People bandana slash cowl from Casa Pinka. It is a free pattern and I'm using, oops, I'm using, come here. Thank you. It's getting wrapped around stuff. I'm using my custom dyed, <laughs> can you see it's coming apart? Uh, custom dye from Abby Rose Designs on Etsy. And she just, I asked her for purple with a bit of blue, kind of a royal purple with a bit of blue, and she obliged very quickly. And look at that. This is how far I am. That's my progress keeper, so you can see where we were last time. Roundabout. I think I was down a little further, but I couldn't remember. Um, so I have just hit 18 inches. So that means theoretically 18 inches on the this edge will be the neckline. Um, theoretically, I can start to decrease now. And I think I will because I don't need it to be bigger. Um, it measures just fine for me. So what I'm going to do, I think in the pattern, you have to then do the same thing as what's down here, but do that on this edge and then sew them together. So hopefully by next week, you will see a finished bandana from this. And once I get my Curio Yarns custom die, uh, I will make another one and then I will have a giveaway and give one of these to one of you lovely people and I will keep the other one. So I'm really excited about that. Got got a good, a good, a good night and a half of working on it. But now that I'm at the point where we can decrease, it's perfect. Then I made an order. Oh, I forgot to talk about these things. My whip was was covering these. I did buy some cross stitching supplies. I got some rings um, from Amazon. If you just search for opened book rings, these are 20 by 63 millimeters. So I think they're two inch or three inch, not sure. Um, I got a pack of 20 and it wasn't expensive. I think it was eight pounds or something. Um, and I can use these to hold the floss away bags for projects. That's how I prefer to kit up. You can also use them for thread drops um, or, you know, if you have specialty flosses, you could put those on there because they have the little holes. Yeah, anyway, you, you understand. And then I also ordered from Amazon a 20 pack of these you'll have to do some googling um the these are thread keepers or spool keepers rather and these you can use them on your project to hold the fabric against the key snap or rod or whatever so that's why i got those okay sorry derailed last weekend was it sunday um, there was a really bad storm coming. That was Saturday, wasn't it? I can't remember. There was a really, really bad storm last week. 
storm Emma. And so my local yarn shop in Bantry, Bantry Yarns, they were flooded. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oop, 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 oop. Don't look at my face. No. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah. No. <clears throat> anyway, um, New Street, Bantry, County Cork, um, BantryYarns.ie. They, they showed some pictures on Facebook and they were saying that they had been flooded and they showed pictures of them cleaning up the floor and it felt really bad. So I went ahead and I bought some stuff because <laughs> that's what you do when they're in crisis, right? So I picked up a few things. I got this yarn by Carol Feller, Nua Sport. This is 60% merino. If I can get it to focus. There you go. 60% merino, 20% yak, and 20% linen. This color is called Kitten Fluff. And apparently I can't hold it without shaking my hand. Anyway, it feels... It smells fine. <laughs> unlike unlike a alpaca. Um, but it's a really interesting texture. It's very fibrous. Um... And I just like it because it's all natural fibers and very cool. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. No clue. I think I bought it so that I could put it in my Northeasterly blanket because I've decided that I'm going to keep the Northeasterly blanket. I'm really sorry, Eileen, but that blanket is not going to be done for a long, long, long time. So I just picked up more yarn to maybe add in a few bits in the blanket um, even though it's not acrylic or anything, you know, I figured a, a bunch of different colors and textures would be really super fun to play with. So there is that one. I also picked up this Adriafil. Adriafil. Not sure what that's called, but check out this yarn. Isn't that cool? It's a self-striping, 100% cotton. It's called Kimura, K-I-M-E-R-A, Kimura. I'm sure you can find this in other stores as well. Um, the Mercerized Egyptian Cotton. It's beautiful. I love the colors. I just love the colors. And I thought that this would make good socks because the socks would look really super funky. So I got some of these. It's beautiful. I, lo I love those colors. It's so fun. It's so fun in summary, you know? And I love the like striping bits there. Just really fun. Okay. And then, and then I found a pattern for this beautiful cardigan. This is the Adrafil Chromia Yarn Marrakesh cardigan. It's a terrible printout really because it got all scrunched, but um, it's beautiful. And I'm going to show you the yarn. I have eight balls of it. So pretty. And what's hanging on for dear life is a test swatch. I did my first ever test swatch. So I measured my gauge to make sure that I was that the tension was correct and that I would get the, the desired results. And yes, the answer is yes. It measures 10 by 10. And it, I mean, I love the color. Look at the color. That is so cool. And there is red in there as well. So I know that this is going to be fantastic. Um, and it's so soft. It's going to be fun to work with for the fall if I decide to do it right now, um, which I'm kind of tempted to because the pattern does not seem very complicated. Uh, it looks like you do have to cast on quite a bit at the beginning. Um, I have never done a cardigan before, but it seems like this is pretty easy. We'll see. But it, it looks like it's all stockinette, mostly stockinette. So 
it'll look pretty. It'll look really pretty. It'll be nice to do something that isn't garter stitch. <laughs> Um, but there is, there are some garter sections in it. So I'll show you. I'm using my pony eight millimeter needles and these are all the balls together in the bag. Sorry about the glare. Just awesome. Super awesome. So I'm going to put that together in there with the needles and we'll get started. So what do you think? The Marrakesh cardigan. I was kind of drawn to it because, sorry, I was drawn to it because I honeymooned in Morocco and just those colors really, really spoke to me. So they're funky and I love cardigans, like open cardigans, no zippers. Um, I don't think it has pockets. No, it doesn't have pockets, but just something to like cover you and keep you warm. And I have to say, do you know the the shawl, the plumatee shawl I made, it is so warm with that kid mohair silk. Oh, I didn't even tell you what, what it is. This is, so Chromia, I'm so sorry. Chromia is 62% acrylic and 38% wool. So it's like, it's some kind of wool blend with acrylic but it's it's super duper soft so it'll be washable but not itchy i don't want itchy no itchy but you can check out more uh information on it on adrafil or at banter yarns they have all the details on it so i'm super excited to to start knitting that as well i have so many ideas and so many things that i would like to do but there's never enough time. You know what I mean? There just never is enough time um, for all the all the projects that I want to do with socks, you know, um, but it's good to support small business and I feel good about it. I also, <laughs> I just remembered, speaking of purchases, I, I did join and purchase a mystery knit along, a mystery cow. Uh, let me get the details there for you. I'm sure that I used this. Nope. It's called Pearl something. Paisley Pearl. Sorry, excuse me. Paisley Pearl yarn. I'll have to make sure that I put a link to her down there. Um, view your order. Uh, it's called the Mixtape Mystery Knit Along cow mystery cow and if it will load I'll have to go directly to her website Jesse from Miss Lane pages totally enabled me to join in on this mcal so it's called mixtape uh, I chose the picture or the picture I chose the yarn one two Freddy's after you and it's very not like me uh, from what you've seen, but it's the most, in my opinion, it's the most wearable and it's also the most fall color. And I love fall. I love everything about fall. I love the muted tones and the coziness and all of that. So it just spoke to me at that moment. And so I went ahead and bought it. So this is, so I'll read you a little bit about it. The first ever Paisley Pearl Yarn MCAL mixtape. Who remembers keeping a blank cassette tape in the boombox while listening to the radio in hopes that you could catch your favorite song in time to hit the record button? Mixtapes were absolutely my favorite with such a variety of music that they were interesting and enjoyable. This MCAL is for a cowl with lots of interesting stitch patterns, some stripes, and just a wee bit of lace. It is suited for beginners as well as interesting enough for advanced knitters. The MCAL will start on Monday, September 14th, and with the release of Clue 1. For the next five weeks, a clue will be released on Monday. Each kit comes with a one full-size hank, 437 yards, and five coordinating mini hanks, 87 yards each, and the mixtape pattern and clues. So if you would like to purchase and get in on the mixtape, the package, 
the whole package is available from paisleypearlyarn.com. I will make sure that I add that link into my link haven. I'm not going to close it. Okay, so I'm really excited about that. Of course, I got enabled. Of course, it doesn't even, it didn't even come out. Oh, anyway, <laughs> whatever. I have great friends that support my random crazy ideas. And I totally understand that sometimes I join things and then I lose steam and I don't want to do it anymore. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure there's someone out there that would like to pick up a whip. Um, and there are groups of that sort. So if you are someone who is interested in either de-stashing a whip that you'll never touch again, or you have bad memories about or something like that, and you just want to give it a new home, they have those, they have groups where, and I'm not going to link them because I don't want to show favoritism on this. Just if you search for it, you will find it. Um, I've also come across groups where you will finish a project for someone and send it back. That's for people who need that feeling of getting a finish. Um, you know, a lot of people pass away and they've got this massive pile of, of stitching still left to do. And for me, that would feel really, really, I would feel really honored to do something like that. But um, as well as, you know, if there's just something that I don't connect with anymore, maybe someone else would like it. Instead of me frogging or ripping out all the stitches. Um, yeah, anyway, right, okay. Enough of that. Let's get to our poem of the day. At the end of my floss tube, I always read a poem from Second Sight by Patty Bush. This is a local poet in my area and I love his poems. He did not ask me to do this. He'd probably feel kind of weird about it, I think, but hey, it's supposed to be an honor to him. Okie dokie. So this is a short one today. It's called Hermit Drum Care. You are not found ingrained in this hardness of stone or the anonymous art chiseled on your cross but your blessing emerges from its nest in the moss, tendering green softness in a sudden gleam of sun. And the air is insistent that you're not alone here as bees can celebrate and birdsong invokes you. Lovely, very lovely. I would highly recommend that you check out his book. I have a link to the Amazon uh, the Amazon link is down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you click it and you make, decide to make a purchase, I may get a little bit of money. I've never seen money from Amazon, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, that's the easiest way to find it, or you can just type it in in Google. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for dealing with all of the sudden light changes. Um, I promise you that if, if you ever do get a chance to come here, to come to Ireland, especially the Ring of Kerry, please don't hesitate to send me a message and let me know and then we can meet up for a cup of coffee or something. I'd love that. Um, especially after all of this, you know what I mean? So I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you really soon in my next video on Monday. Take care everyone. Bye!